Hello again, uh, this is uh, part 13 of the video series uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Uh, we ended the last video talking about um, the judgment seat of Christ and at the end of that last verse it says uh, if any man's work is burned up he will suffer loss and we know that we determine that's not the loss of our salvation it's, it's the loss of rewards uh, and it says but he himself will be saved so we don't lose our salvation but then the last phrase in that verse says uh, yet so as through fire and uh, I learned that this is one of the uh, verses that the Roman Catholic used to try to prove that there's a, such a thing as purgatory. Uh, they say, yeah, you're saved, but you've got to go through the fire of purgatory. Uh, first of all... Uh, so they're uh, adding on to the message of, of the cross. Maybe you could tell the people a little bit about the whole concept of purgatory. Well, purgatory... Uh, um, uh, you go to this place called purgatory to have your sins purged. In other words, they're saying that the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross wasn't enough to purge your sins. Basically, if you believe in purgatory, you're basically unsaved. You're an unbeliever because you are not trusting in Jesus Christ and what He did on that cross to purge your sins and that alone and to, to take away your sins so you could go to heaven. You're, you're, you're trusting that, you know you you know what, if, if, if uh, my works don't meet up, you know, they're, they're trusting in their works uh, to get them into uh, uh, heaven, being, being in that Catholic religion. You're, you're trusting in, in what you can do, your, your baptism, your, your, uh, uh, your confirmation, your, your taking of the Eucharist, and, and just all of that, all those sacraments and everything that goes with that, that religion. And, and you know you're 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 trusting in that to save you. And you know what? If I don't meet all these things, and if I don't if I don't uh, um, meet all those requirements, I still have purgatory. You know that I could go to this place called purgatory, and then people can say masses for me, and and pay uh, indulgences so that my sins can be purged, and I can they can say prayers for me, and I can be released from from purgatory um, uh, to get into uh, um, heaven. So by, by trusting all that, you're not trusting in Christ and what He did on the cross. And that alone to get you into heaven. You're, you're trying to come to God another way um, than the way, which is Jesus Christ. And uh, you're trying to get into heaven through some back door. And, and Jesus said that He was the door. That if any man entered through Him, um, uh, that uh, He would be saved. So if you believe in purgatory, then you're, you're, you're not saved. You, you need to... Uh, uh, repent of that and, and, and put your trust in Jesus Christ and what He has done on the cross and believe that He's the only way to get into heaven. All right. Uh, so uh, basically, um, Roman Catholics, they general, generally all believe this, that uh, they, they need to believe that uh, Jesus Christ is God and He died on the cross for their sins and He rose from the get dead. And, but they, they don't trust entirely on that. That's not enough for them. They believe they've got to follow all these religious procedures that this Roman Catholic Church uh, requires of them. And then they've got to keep their fingers crossed hoping that it's been enough and they're good enough to qualify for heaven. And if they don't quite qualify for heaven, then they at least they have this purgatory they can go through for some period of time where they suffer or people pay their indulgences or pay for masses to somehow get them through that and then they can be saved. It's like a uh, safety net. Yeah. Safety net. Uh, but yeah. is the word purgatory in the Bible? It's nowhere in the Bible. It's not even in the Catholic Bible. Yeah. So uh, the word purgatory is not in the Bible. The concept of purgatory is not even in the Bible unless you try to stretch and really really try to find it in a verse like this uh, so if that verse is talking about uh, saved as through fire then we have to understand well if it's if it's not fire as in uh, being in purgatory for a period of time then what is the fire yeah what is the fire and before you get into when the what is the fire if there is a purgatory then Jesus lied when Jesus said that He was the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through Him. So if there's a purgatory, then, then Jesus um, lied when He said that statement. Hmm. And, and we know that Jesus didn't lie. Yeah. 
the important thing people need to understand is that uh, we, we say this early on in the series is that uh, words have meanings and they oftentimes have multiple meanings and we cannot jump to conclusions and assume every time you see the word fire that it's talking about hell. In this case, fire is talking about the, the, the fiery trials that we have to go through in our lives as we learn things. And uh, let's go to Psalm 66, uh, 10 through 12 to, to see this. It says, For you have tried us, O God, so this is talking about a trial. You have refined us as silver is refined. So in other words, we're going to, we, we go through this trial. We're being refined by God like He refined silver, being purified through our life's experiences. These trials and difficult things teach us uh, lessons. And uh, it says, you brought us into the net. You laid an oppressive burden on our loins. That's right. God does, puts us through trials on purpose so that we can learn. Uh, and then it says, you made men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Of course, it's not talking about a literal fire here. It's talking about a trial. Some kind of trial or tribulation we go through to learn. Uh, yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. So as a believer, it's just a trial. It's, it's your life um, being tested. Yes. So uh, in the, the previous verse, uh, it says that... Uh, uh, our works are burned, uh, tested in the fire, yet we're still saved. Uh, yet as through fire, is, it means that, yes, we're saved, but don't think you're not going to have to go through some trials in your life anyway. Because, there, as we discussed in the earlier videos, Christians do have consequences for their sins. Uh, uh, one consequence we don't have to face is we will never lose our salvation because we've sinned. But, uh, as a Christian, if we get involved in sin, we will go through these trials and tribulations because of the sins, and, and we have to learn the lessons from our, our sins in our lives. All right. Well, we'll discuss another verse in the next video.